Hey guys, this is your friend Les, and welcome to another episode of LTZ Logistics. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week so far. And of course, this is being released on the weekend, so if you're watching on the weekend, I hope your weekend is going freaking awesome. Alright, so anyways, let's see here. We are still, we are at level 4. We're getting close to level 5. And uh, let's see here. We've driven a total of 2,725 miles, all in somebody else's truck. Heck yeah. And currently we have 32,498 bucks US dollars in the account. And uh, so far we're pretty profitable. Uh, $32,658 is our profit for the last seven days. So that's not bad. Had a few speeding tickets last time, but no, not a speeding tickets. I had a, uh, what was it? I ran a red light. I think that's what it was. So let's head in here. Let's go to the quick jobs. Let's see. We left out of El Centro last time. And let's see here. We can go to Phoenix. We can go to San Simon. We can go to Arizona if we wanted to. And I think it's time that we started to venture out of California a little bit, even though it kind of goes against what we all had originally agreed to, which was discover everything in the state of California first, then make our way to either Nevada and Arizona and do the same thing there. But... No offense to California, I'm, I'm getting a little bit bored, just saying. So we're going to take a job out of, uh, we'll do, uh, we'll take some hay. Or maybe do we want to go to San Simon? Oh, crap, I did not mean to do that. All right, well, anyways, we're, we're not going to look at this. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. We can go to San Simon. That's a much longer drive. That's a, uh, that's a nine hour and 50 minute drive, or we can take a shorter one. Three hour and 39 minutes, and because, you know... If we take this job, it'll probably take me a while to, you know, park properly. Let's go to San Diego real quick and see what we have there. Maybe we can get one that's just not quite as long as nine hours. Maybe something more along the lines of eight hours. Um, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, we can take some office supplies. I think what we'll do is we have these empty pallets. Oh no, I don't want to go to Las Vegas though. Dang it, can we get uh, empty pallets to Arizona, to Phoenix? That would be freaking great. All right, you know what? We're going to go back. We're going to take the hey, 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 y'all, to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. That's where we're going to head. So let's go ahead and get this job loaded up. And so we're leaving El Centro. That's where we were last time, and we're carrying a bunch of hay. Look at all that hay. I guess it's for some hungry horses, maybe some hungry cows, I don't know. And of course it's, uh, it's 6 o'clock in the evening, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn my lights on. And let's see where our exit is. Beautiful scenery, I must say. Our exit is that way. And this job pays only 1500 bucks, but that's, yeah, <laughs> it kind of sucks, but that's okay. But at least we'll be going to a different state in somewhere different other than California because you know why the heck not I'm, I'm gonna readjust my uh, GPS there and I think that's what I want yeah, all right hopefully the sound is okay I'm gonna turn the sound up on my end because I can't hear jack crap and uh, let's see here um oh there's a piggy so we need to Make sure that I don't speed, and I need to make sure that I stop and look for traffic. Alright, so it looks like we are good to go. I'm going to make this left-hand turn. And I'm sorry this is going to be a night job. I don't normally like the night jobs. They're kind of boring, and I don't see well, and yeah. I don't know if you guys enjoy them or not, and I need to, I need to watch my speed. Let's go on 35 there. Don't want to give Officer Yuna a heart attack. There's a truck. What's up, Mr. Truck? Oh man, this horn is weak. So when I when I started up the game, I was like, where the heck is my sound? How come I'm not having any sound? Okay, so normally when I record, next to my desk is a uh, HDTV. And so I usually plug that into my computer as well so I can pull up and have uh, so I can get a good uh, visual if I need to of OBS to make sure it's doing its thing, it's recording, it hasn't paused or it hadn't switched to a black screen or 
you know, it'll tell me if I'm getting high encoding errors, that sort of thing. So I like I like to be able to see that because sadly my desk, I've, I've got an L-shaped desk, but there's just not enough room on it because it's got a hutch to put two monitors. And so eventually I would, I thought I had my lights on. Maybe I, maybe I didn't have my lights on. Let me, um, let me double check. All right, now my lights are on. And we've got traffic waiting behind us. Let's make sure nobody's coming. There is somebody coming, but we've got plenty of time to pull out. See, plenty of time to pull out. We are good to go. I need to make sure I don't speed on this road. So anyways, what I, I was talking about and um, was I, I was getting no audio. And I was like, where is my audio? And it was like, oh, it defaulted to my TV. I need to change it back to my speakers that are connected to my computer. And there's a lot of traffic up in here. They don't have stop signs. This should be a four-way intersection with all this freaking traffic. Um, so, so anyways, um, I got it switched back over, and the game, there was still no sound. I was like, what the heck? So I restarted the game. So I restarted the game, and there was still no sound. Well, stupid Windows decided to change it back to my TV speakers. I'm like, no! I don't want this on my TV speakers. And so I, I finally... That truck said, screw you guys, I'm going. So, so I finally got it. I finally got, look, that truck over there, these trucks are being uh, defensive drivers, I like that. I'm just kind of waiting for all of these trucks to go, or cars to go, because knowing my luck, I'm going to hit one of them and I'm going to get a ticket, and that is not cool. Look at all, I don't know if you guys can see way back there in the direction that we're, the camera's facing, there's a lot of traffic coming. That is freaking ridiculous. You know, I think we might have to put on our hazards. I think we might have to put on our hazards. Let's, uh, let's put on our hazards. And let's slowly. Let's slowly. No, you guys need to stop. Stop. You guys need to stop. I don't give a crap. We are not sitting. We are not sitting through that. Because that would have taken forever. We do what we got to do, right? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And I think I can turn those off now. I'm sorry. I just was not going to sit there and wait that long. If I could do it safely, I would, I would do it safely. And we did. So, anyways, back to what I was talking about. Yesterday, I, I ran the anniversary update for Windows 10. And... So I was like, okay, please don't break anything. Please don't break anything. Because I know lots of people who upgraded to Windows 10. A lot of people have been having... Oh, come on, turn, 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 turn. A lot of people have been having one problem after the other. And so far, I, I've been lucky. Um, I have not had... I have not had any problems whatsoever. Oh, let's stop. Let's not... Let's not hit any of these cars today. That sun right in our face. So, so far I've been lucky, and I was like, okay, well, the anniversary update is here. My luck is probably going to run out. And, um, but luckily so far, look at you back there, jerk. Almost hit me. Luckily so far, I haven't had any, like, major issues. The only issue that I've ever had since upgrading to Windows 10 is my wireless, wireless Wi-Fi adapter. Just, it likes to fail. I bought a brand new one. Installed the drivers for Windows 10 for it, and it still occasionally fails. Never had that problem with it when I was uh, on Windows 7. Um, so that's the only issue that I had, and still have to this day. And it doesn't happen all the time, but it's sometimes I live stream and that thing just dies out. It's like, oh crap. Um, so eventually, when it cools off outside. I will be getting underneath the house and I will be running an ethernet line underneath the house from one side of the house to the other and have it come up through my uh, wall so I can connect my computer to it and I'm not going underneath the house right now because it's too hot in that crawl space and also snakes like to stay under there 
to kind of keep cool. And uh, no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. I do not like snakes. Um, so that'll that'll solve that problem. I won't have to worry about a Wi-Fi adapter constantly crapping out for whatever reason. And uh, oh, I think we're in Arizona now because the speed limit just uh, went up to uh, 75. So uh, welcome to Arizona, y'all. Um, so, anyways. The anniversary update, everything went fine. Um, as soon as it was done and ready to go, my AMD driver thingy popped up and it said, Hey, time to update your drivers, dude. And I was like, Okay, sure, no problem. So I always keep that stuff up to date, anyways. Um, and so I, so I updated it and then I restarted my computer and it's like, There's a new AMD update. And I'm like, I just installed an update, so I go and check, and it was the same one that I just installed, so I'm going and, I, I go and I check, you know, what drivers, if, you know, if it, if the install had failed, or, you know, or if it really was a new one, and, and it w turns out everything was successful, and the same driver it was trying to tell me to, to install again, um, didn't need to be installed so it's like every time I restart my computer now I get that freaking annoying pop-up hey you got a new update for your for your AMD graphics card and I'm like, no I don't that's the same one that I just installed now shut up please so I'm wondering if maybe that's what kind of F things up I, I don't know with the sound issue that I was having earlier because this is the first time that I've recorded since installing the update and the new update to the driver to the graphics card so I, I don't know I don't know what was going on but I, I was shouting all sorts of f-bombs so <laughs> my cat comes down the hallway to my door and kind of looks at me are you okay no I'm not okay I am pissed off because <laughs> I can't get my sound to work dang it and speaking of sound hopefully the sound is okay for you guys and then all the love you know, audio levels are are decent, and that everything sounds decent. Um, let's see here. Are we going straight? I think we are going. Yep, we're going straight. And the speed limit is 65. Here, yeah, are we turning here? Yes, we are turning here. I can't believe we're already to our destination. This has gone by really quick. So I'm sorry that you guys had to sit here and listen to me gripe about my audio not working when she you know that wasn't that wasn't cool of me didn't we deliver to a place similar to this last time let's see here I don't know all right so since this was a short delivery even though I'm not sure how I feel about this we're gonna we're gonna go with where do you need it and we're gonna kind of take a look around assess the situation I don't see where they need it I mean I see on the little GPS map there but I yeah I have no idea which way I need to go to get there wrong button so we're just gonna pull forward and we will have enough once we pull forward we'll have a we'll have another look around to see exactly where this might need to go okay I see right over there right over there and I wonder no I'm not I was gonna say maybe we can we can drive to the back over there, but yeah, I'm not gonna, not going to uh, risk that. So, all right. So since we're parking, I'm probably gonna get quiet like I always do. So please, please forgive me. Shut up, auto park. I haven't failed yet. So this is this is where it needs to go. This should be fun. I think we have this with no problems whatsoever. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Going over a little little canal here, and I just want to straighten up as much as I possibly can. And if you hear my phone vibrating, I do apologize. I don't know if the, the mic was picking that up or not. If it was, I am so sorry. I'm going to change the camera view. Alright. Shh. 
Shut up, auto parking. I got this. Maybe not. I was hoping to have this on the first go, but it doesn't look like I'm going to have it on the first go. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm okay with that. We're going to pull back up just a little bit. And I want to straighten out as much as I possibly can. I'll straighten out a little bit more. Have I done any damage to this vehicle yet? No. And I don't plan to. Alright, so let's... Try this again. No, I don't think I'm going to get it. This we might have to pull out one more time. I don't know. We'll see. This isn't perfect, but it may take it. We'll see. There it goes. It took it. It's not perfect, but it's probably the best I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and hit that T button. We're going to go ahead and decouple that thing. All right, so excellent. We drove 145 miles. It took us 3 hours, 49 minutes, and we used about 30.7 gallons of fuel. And so we got a total of uh, 1,587 bucks for this trip and 157 experience points, so that brought us up to 3,126 experience points. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, and uh, don't forget to say hi in the comments below. I always he love hearing from you guys, and uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be kind to one another. Love you guys. See you guys next weekend for more American Truck Simulator. Bye, y'all.